Hey Bethel, this is Derek, one of your Richland campus elders. This week in our study of Acts, we're considering the idea of truth through the story of Paul giving a defense to the Roman governor Felix after being falsely accused of inciting a riot by some religious elites who hated what he was saying about Jesus. In Acts 24.10, Paul begins to respond, and we're told that he is actually cheerful or glad to give his defense. And this got me wondering, how often when, when I communicate the truth to others, is my attitude one of being cheerful or glad? Am I more often animated, defensive, and well, frankly, angry? If I found my identity, that is, who I am and how I define myself, less in being right in an argument and more in the truth that God has claimed me as a part of his family despite my inability to win or even do anything right, would I then be better at turning arguments into conversations and be a person who is cheerful and glad? You see, Bethel, this is how truth works. When I understand the truth about my state, that through my sin or my inability to live up to God's standard, I am separated from God and deserve death. But that Jesus, in coming to earth, living a perfect life, dying on a cross, and being resurrected from the dead, has created a way for someone even as horrifying as me to have a perfect relationship with God. And when I understand that the only way I can have this perfect relationship is not by doing or earning anything through my own actions, but simply by resting in Jesus and what he has done, this truth changes everything about me, who I am and how I act. Now I will want to respond to others cheerfully and gladly because I see being close to Jesus as better than being right in an argument. And I don't need to search for deeper or more hidden truth, but I need to come back and be reminded of the simple but infinitely filling truth of what Jesus has done for me. I need to find people who will remind me of this when I start to go astray and live a life that cares more about other things than I care about Jesus. I need to like Paul states in Acts 24, 14, see Jesus in all of Scripture, even the law and prophets. Friends, this is how truth should affect us, by making us people who rest in Jesus and now live gladly because he loves us. May this define us, Bethel. Go and be blessed.